Hello everybody, today I want to talk to you about averaging quiz and test grades. I'm wondering if we're doing it right. My question is, what is the purpose of a grade in a course? I see a grade as describing how much of that content or that subject a student knows. And so in my classes, if a student gets an A in biology, that says they know an A's amount of biology. If they get a B in biology, that says they know a B's amount of biology. I think we all kind of agree with that. And so let's take that idea that a grade describes how much of that subject a student knows, and now let's look at quizzing and testing. Now this won't apply to everybody, but in the classes where you take a couple quizzes and then a test, a lot of us do that. We give a few quizzes and then a test. And on the test, all of the same information, not the exact same questions, but all the same information that was on the quizzes is on that test. So let's say that a student gets an A on one quiz, an A on the next quiz, an A on the third quiz, takes the test and gets an A. Easy. Kid deserves an A. Kid got an A. A kid, that kid knows an A's amount of that information that was on that test. Now, what if a student gets a C on a quiz, a C on the next quiz, a C on the next quiz, and then an A on the test? Well, normally what we would do is we would average those three C's and that A, and the kid, depending on the weight of your quizzes and tests, would have a B in the class, or maybe even a high C in the class, depending on how your grading works. So we would average those three C's and that A to come up with the kid's grade. Now my question is, if those quizzes, all of the information on those quizzes was on that test, the end product was that student got an A on the test. So the student at the end knows an A's amount of that material, of that subject. But if their grade is a low B, their grade is saying they know a low B's amount of that subject, but in reality, they know an A's amount. Let's, let's talk about how this could happen. Let's say that a student gets a C, they didn't quite understand the material, they get a C, they get a C, and then they just realize, wow, I really gotta study, or I gotta get extra tutoring, I gotta get extra help, and they, they really work hard to learn the material, and they do, and then they get the A. They might not have known all the material when they were getting the quizzes, when they got the Cs, but by the end, they know the material. For me as a teacher, all I care about is, do they know the material? Did they learn the material? It shouldn't matter when they learn it. Did they learn it? Maybe that student, it took longer for them to learn it. But in the end, the student who got three A's on the quizzes and then an A on the test, compared to the student who got three C's and an A on the test, in the end, they both got an A on their test. In the end, they both know an A's amount of that material. So I'm wondering, should we be averaging these grades? I think if we average them, it's actually misleading to give a student a B minus when at the end they know an A's amount of that material. Let's, let's put this in a different uh, hyperbolic scenario. Let's say that I take a piano class and I have to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and I am terrible. Then I gotta play Happy Birthday and I'm awful. And I just start working really hard because I'm like, that was terrible. I really wanna learn piano. So I spend every day, every night playing piano. At the end of the piano class, I am rocking Beethoven's Ninth. I am fantastic at piano. And then my teacher comes to me and says, look, you are one of the best piano players I've taught, but you're gonna get a B minus in the class because remember how bad you were at Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? I gotta put that into the average. I don't think that that's the right way to do it. I think we should look at the end product. Did they master the subject? Did they learn the material? And so when we're giving these assessments, I want us to start thinking about what is it that we're saying about this student? What is the summary of this student? Okay, so then what do we do with it? Well, I'm now looking at my assessments as if a student got three C's and an A on the test, I'll let the A replace those three C's. Just get rid of those three, those three quizzes. Get rid of those three assessments. 
So if a student's test grade is better than their previous quiz grades, or if their test grade is better than their average grade, I will let that test grade supersede and that's their new grade in the class. But if a student gets a C on three quizzes and a C on a test, they have a C. There's not much to talk about. If averaging the grades helps the student, just average it. If averaging the grades does nothing for the student, just average it. But if at the end their test grade was better than their average, I think that that's proved mastery. I think that they now know more of that material than they did before, and that grade should supersede because the end final product tells me that the student learned the material. Something to think about. Let me know in the comments. If you know me, talk to me about it. I'm really curious what you guys think. All right, I'll talk to you next time.